Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. And again, we want to thank everybody for their support that's supporting us over on Patreon. Couldn't do it without your support over there as well. So, you know, again, this is the relatively newly elected president of Argentina. And he says, happy holidays. Be careful not to become a communist. The president of Argentina wishes citizens a Merry Christmas, yeah, or else is the look, or else. The thing that hits me and has always hit me about him, if you've ever watched any of his antics in public, he is really a show person, uh, a big time show person. But the thing beyond that is the energy, because to me, when I look at his energy, I don't see anything but real darkness there. Uh, me too. That's that's what I picked up too. A lot of times you can see uh, some of these people, and they there is like a, a bead of goodness in there where they they would, if not for certain situations, they would choose a better path. But I don't feel that, and I don't see that with him. It's like his moral high ground is the darkness. That's the only path he knows. And I, I mean, that's sad to say about people. I I really don't like to put out feelings like that but gosh i mean this guy emits it sorry yeah you can uh try to search all throughout the throngs of of top end political uh entities and and personas and try to search hard for real light true light that has not been corrupted or tainted in some way by the system and it's going to be a very hard thing to do to find it truly uh and and the reality is again here he's using the term communist uh communist is one of their terms that they've given us same thing goes with capitalist because you know as long as you're thinking in their paradigm you're not going to escape the paradigm and what do they want to do? Well, they they have and want to keep going a situation where we're living in Groundhog's Day. You remember Groundhog's Day with Bill Murray? He keeps waking up and it's the same day again. Uh, the same day again. Well, yeah, uh, the names of the empires change. The, the names of uh, the rulers change. In some cases, they might be very similar. And certainly the energies that are inhabiting the bodies of these elected selected officials well those energies are basically the same for for a long time more than people can realize we're talking thousands of years we've had the same true political structure it doesn't matter what label we we call it if you say dictatorship fascist uh, communist capitalist uh, whatever democrat republican you know those are all illusory labels and the system rules through illusion now in a time when we can start to really really discern our discernment is increasing our ability to see through the bs is increasing and when we feel and sense what lies there in this in this you know soul um yeah just like so many of the others that are pretty obvious to most people uh, it's darkness and, and it, is, it is sad, you know, because again, what happens is people get conditioned by so much of, a, of the right side or so much of the left side that there's a percentage of the population that just can't stand it anymore and will do anything else. Anything else is good because they can't take what has been going on. This is also one of the tactics that they use, but feel into the energy as you feel into this, this this is a really very dark energy here. As you see, be careful not to become a communist. So, okay, if we're not a communist, we don't have to worry. Well, certainly we're not communist, uh, but I wouldn't really say that we um, are anything because everything that is, is labeled is, is of the system. Javier Millet, the president of Argentina, has warned those celebrating Christmas to be careful not to become a communist in a bizarre seasonal message to his followers. He took office earlier this month after winning October elections on a promise to take a chainsaw to public spending. The libertarian former rock singer, 
appeared brandishing a truncheon in the image shared on a social media account, accompanied by the caption, Happy Holidays and be careful not to become a communist. It's not the first time that the 52-year-old, a self-described tantric sex instructor, has taken aim at communism. During his campaign, he regularly criticized China and Brazil, saying he won't deal with communists. Oh, here's five unusual facts. He described his late English Mastiff Conan as his true and greatest love. He is understood to have visited a medium to communicate with Conan, who told him God's mission was for him to become president of Argentina. He often dresses up as his superhero alter ego, General and Cap, which is short for anarcho-capitalist. Mr. Malay studies with a rabbi and says he wants to convert to Judaism. He often walks out on stage to the sound of a shofar, the ram's horn blown on Rosh Hashanah. Formerly the lead singer of a Rolling Stones cover band called Everest, he also enjoys Bob Marley, Verdi, and singing opera. Well, I like Bob Marley and Verdi, and some operas are okay, too. Mr. Malay was once a tantric sex coach where the goal is not, you know, the big O, but enjoyment of the process. Uh, He has talked openly about having, okay, well, you know, basically what we see uh, is another version of Zelensky, albeit, um, you know, another very, very dark version. There, and, and this is part of the reality of, of what we're starting to really wake up to. Um, you know, that left-right dichotomy that never ends and, and the pendulum swinging farther out to the right, farther out to the left. Yes, an, an ever-widening arc. This reminded me totally, and the look on his face uh, immediately, to A Clockwork Orange. You guys remember A Clockwork Orange? This is an older movie. It was done by Stanley Kubrick. It was very dark, very twisted. In fact, this is how they advertised it. Being the adventures of a young man whose principal interests are the R-word, ultraviolence, and Beethoven. Uh, you know, uh, just let that sink in with what they just told us here. He, it, this is a persona, and it's a character that's easy for him to act, just like Zelensky. You know, Zelensky was portray- he was an actor playing president, and then he becomes president. Hello, you know, Trump was the boss, and then became the boss. Well, in in name only. You know, and, and uh, gosh, you're fire. I mean, you can't make this up. And still people believe this is real. Look at, you know, the, what the list of things that are interesting to him and that he's drawn to feel his energy. And then just read this. He's basically playing out this persona. It's what he's doing. It's in our consciousness. This This is an old movie. Um, and again, he was born 22nd of October, 1970. If we had the time, it would be interesting to see what Cindy can pull up on him. Um, you know, it's interesting, you know, he's, he, he's got several PhDs again. He's been everything from, again, a lead singer in a Stones cover band to a goalkeeper in a football team. Uh, and then he became an economist and that's where he got rooted into the, you know, the true power structure. Um, absolutely. They will do anything to create alternatives. And in some ways, it's almost like the real controllers are saying, how extreme will they go? Mm-hmm. How extreme will they accept? accept? What will they accept? Will they accept a complete, obvious psychopath in, con- in control as long as it's uh, somebody that's saying things that will appease them after a period in which they go through the polar opposite. Mm-hmm. That's that's really what I, what stuck out to me is acceptance. It's like what will people accept, you know, as part of their um, upbringing? What will they accept as part of their culture? And I can tell you this: this guy is going down some very, very, very dark paths and he's very open about it which is extremely disturbing 
Um, I, I mean, there's things in our lives that we can utilize for good and for bad, but this guy, it's like he's pulling himself down into the darkness to see how far he can go, um, and he enjoys it. And it's almost like he's some sort of an anchor, like thrown off of a, a ship. And let's say all the people are the ship and the anchor gets thrown off the ship and it's at the very bottom and he's just holding all these people with his with his dark heavy anchor and that's that's his purpose and as long as people accept someone like this someone who has no uh, moral clarity no moral high ground this is where everyone's going to stay so I, I think if nothing else you know uh, even some sometimes in this case, you know, this guy can be used as a bad example. I, I mean, at least he can be used for that. And that's what I see. So, here you go. From 2020 to 2021, he was a member of Avanza Libertad, a political par party founded by Jose Luis Esper. Uh, during his campaign for the Argentine Chamber of Deputies, he focused on Buenos Aires neighborhoods where he took strolls and had talks with ordinary people. He pledged not to support any new tax increases. Uh, uh, yeah, that always uh, you know gets to people because we we realize taxation in and of itself is is truly parasitic and is is <laughs> totally satanic. He ran under the slogan, I didn't come here to lead lambs, but to awaken lions. Denouncing what he saw as a political caste, which he said was comprised of useless parasitic po politicians who had never worked, he called the politicians rats and said they form a parasitic caste that thinks about only getting rich. He uses phrases like, I'm here to kick these criminals out, and was especially supported by youth. Promoted his political views on television, radio, and YouTube. And, you know, he, he had his uh, own shows. Again, he, he's, he's an actor just like, you know, again, Zelensky. This is the same thing. They've taken uh, somebody uh, that has a certain energy. They know uh, what that energy is all about because this is the energy of the controllers. These are the people that they push. Um, the other one that hit me when he's brandishing a stick is Negan and Walking Dead, which is a post-apocalyptic post zombie apocalypse uh, series that was so popular for so many years. And when we are introduced with Negan, it's indiscriminate violence of just the worst type of nature that you can imagine. And that's really what you had in the Clockwork Orange. And here you see one, one eye is, is done up with mascara. Um, and the psych psychopathic look, um, that psychopathic look, I mean, it, I think he was holding the image of a clockwork orange in his mind when, when he's doing it, as you hear again, wholesome milk. Meanwhile, you got the stick and you got a complete psychopathic look on them. A clockwork orange, as you see here, Prediction of Dystopian Democracy, The Rise and Failure of Authoritarianism. More prediction from the entertainment media in the form of Kubrick's dystopian masterpiece, A Clockwork Orange, from the early 70s, looking suspiciously like the world we're living into today. Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, this is because they've controlled the movies. They control the movies. They control the actors. Uh, they control the politicians. They control everything. So, you know, our reality looks like the movies because our reality is, in fact, a, a big drama. And if people still believe that some one of the saviors that they're raising up to come and save us, they're going to be so sorely mistaken, whether you're trusting in uh, a president, whether you're trusting in anything. I mean, these are all manufactured by the system. It, it, it's mind-blowing that people still fall for it. And, and yet, more and more truly, truly are waking up. So his 71 film adaptation, uh, Clockwork Orange, follows the deviant uh, peregrinations of a young criminal named Alex DeLarge as he navigates the dystopian version of London, England. It explores the nature of crime, government, and culture. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, again, it, it shows the very nature of the three as really what we have is a satanic demonic culture that's controlled by satanic demonic 
politicians and actors and actresses that are all under the same sway. And don't forget, Stanley Kubrick is is the person that was credited with actually doing uh, the movie of the moon landings, which, of course, you know, gets debunked. But close to his deathbed, he spoke out and supposedly admitted that it was nothing but a film. And he died um, shortly after also talking about this movie. And, you know, this is Eyes Wide Shut, in which maybe he was showing a little bit too much of what the elite really are all about, which is all about what you know, Clockwork Orange is and so many other things. Because, you know, right now we were getting this or we're waiting for this, you know, island client list. And what do you see? They're all, not just politicians, and yes, there's tons of politicians, there's tons of actors and actresses, because politicians and actors and actresses are one and the same. There's never been a difference. Who is more effective in what role is really all that they look at, and then they put them in those roles. Mm-hmm. That's, that's exactly what they do. And um, they want us to mimic them. They want to keep us in that low vibrational state so they can keep us here. Uh, you know, we, we, as long as we stay in this matrix, as long as we utilize the tools that they have put out for us, I don't see that we have... Our free will is not necessarily our free will. We are acting on the information that they have given us and the choices that they have given us, um, which is very, very limited, as you can see. It's it's what they want because we are the battery for them. And it's, it's, it's a very dark place to be. I mean, we have to continue stepping out of the box. We have to continue to not feed this energy, to not feed the hate, to not feed... The, the processes to not feed, uh, you know, anything that they do and step up and into the light, definitely. Absolutely. <clears throat> From the moment that we're born, they are indoctrinating us into the dark, demonic, satanic system. And yet that doesn't mean that the Bible or the Koran are right. Of course not. That's that's their material. They're in control. If Satan rules the world, then the biggest, most mainstream, uh, not just political ideologies, but religious ones are obviously going to be satanically tinged. How could it be any other way? Do you think they would let truth uh, be the dominant uh, force on the planet? No, they're all about manipulation and getting us to act like them and and it's done since you know just the earliest ages they teach us to be co- co- competitive instead of cooperative and yet we we do have to get ready for all that they will uh, unleash on us so again we understand what they're doing it's all a divide and conquer constantly and after eight years of the left, then we get, you know, four or eight years of the right. And that pendulum swings wider to the point where people can't take it anymore. And that's exactly what they are counting on. And But then nothing changes, you know. They, they say all these things are going to change. I haven't seen one rollback in taxes. I haven't seen one rollback in, in uh, oh, the Patriot Act or any of these acts that they've put up it just keeps they keep tightening the noose over and over and over no matter who is in charge absolutely so you know again don't don't i, I know uh everybody pretty much that is everybody that's a regular understands this that we must not fall prey to uh the way that they sow the seeds of division and how they carefully cultivate those we must rise above and outside of the dark system uh, in order to truly free ourselves from it. We will not get free from staying within it. So the system must collapse. The system will collapse. But what the system's trying to do is to gather as many souls, literally, as it can under its sway. So when it collapses those souls, they are hoping to trap with themselves. Source blessed. Namaste. Namaste.